Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Bottom School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through fourth grade mathematics, week number 22 and day number four. And the contents may be found on page number 172 of your workbook. So if you have your workbook over there, please turn to page number 172. The content's going to be coming in front of you. If not, you're welcome just to watch the board. The content's going to be there as well. Well, today we are going to still try to master how to calculate areas very well. So we're going to build on our geometry skills of using right angle to triangles to calculate areas. But right now, let's try to make it a compound shape. Well, a compound shape is not like a simple shape, like a parallelogram or like a right angle triangle. It's going to look a little bit complex, but guess what? It's going to be a combination of multiple right angled triangles, and they can tell us to calculate its area. Well, how do we do that? Watch this. All right. Okay, can you see this? compound shape in here. Wow, this looks like a compound shape over there. E, F, G, H, maybe I, something like that. Now they're telling us what is the area of this compound shape. Oh, what's the area of the compound shape? All right, so let's assume that this is 20 and this is 20 as well. Okay, and if this is 10, then this is going to be 10. But can you see that this compound shape is a collection of three right-angled triangles? So this is one right-angled triangle. This is another right-angled triangle. And that's another right-angled triangle. Well, that makes our life easy. So let's try to calculate the area of right-angled triangle. Triangle H, E, F. Well, that's going to be equivalent to alpha multiplied by 10 multiplied by 20. All right. And that's going to be equal to 100. All right. What about area of right angled triangle E, F, G? All right. E, F, G. What's that going to be? That's going to be alpha multiplied by 10 multiplied by 20, which gives us 100 as well. All right. What about the area of the right angled triangle E, I, G? Well, that's going to be half multiplied by 20 multiplied by 10, and that's going to give us 100 as well. Oh, so what are we going to do? Add it all together. So total area of the compound shape is going to be equivalent to 100 plus 100 plus 100, which gives us 300 inches squared. All right. That simple. So it's time to do it. So if you have a compound shape, do not be afraid of it. <laughs> Do not panic. Oh, how am I going to do this? Take it easy a little bit. <laughs> and then try to break the compound shape in terms of right-angled triangles, sometimes even in terms of squares and rectangles and something like that. They are going to give you that option. If it's not breakable into smaller shapes, they're not going to ask you that question, especially at this age over there. But if they ask you that question, it means that the compound shape is breakable or can be divided into smaller shapes that you can calculate its area and then you can add it all together. All right, so that's how to do it. Did you get something from it? Hopefully you did. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye.
I'll be your hero's body And as you study with heroes born I will be your friend So don't you 